Hi guys, welcome to another video of Highway to Mamasville. Today I'm going to be talking with you about the differences of quarantine school versus homeschool. I've heard this a lot of times and I felt like I wanted to address it before I move on to other curriculum videos that um, with all the stuff with going on with coronavirus right now, I heard a lot of people say, oh my word, I could never homeschool when they did the quarantining school. They just were like, this is, this is too much. I don't know how you guys do it. I could never homeschool. I just wanted to go over some differences between quarantine school and homeschool and how they are completely different from each other and to not really base homeschool on quarantine school. So this video is going to be all about that. But before then, I just want to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel where I'm going to be putting out weekly videos on homeschooling right now. Um, it's later going to be other videos about organization and other mommy stuff. Hence the name Highway to Momsville. And also hit the bell next to it so that way you can be notified of future videos to come. And I also wanted to let you know, in case you didn't catch my last video, Target Hall, Homeschool Hall, that uh, I also have another channel called Family For Real, where it's me and my whole entire family, which includes my husband and my five kids, and we put out, we used to put out a bunch of videos there. We have it in three years, but we are about to launch new videos, so stay tuned for that and subscribe to that channel. My husband also released a stimulus finance channel called Late Night Grind. So that is going to be below. I have an Instagram called Highway to Mom's Mill. Follow me there. All this stuff is going to be in the description below. If, if I ever show you any products that I have if, that I got on Amazon, I have an Amazon storefront that's on the link below too. So here goes. Quarantine versus homeschool. What are the main differences? Because I know that there is definite differences between the two. And I don't like homeschooling being compared to quarantine school because it definitely isn't the same. Um, the, one of the main things is that you can't go anywhere. When you're quarantined, you couldn't go anywhere. Not a single place really, besides sometimes the grocery store, which doesn't really count. How that's different from homeschooling is homeschooling, we go everywhere. We're going to play dates. We're going to field trips to the museum. We're going to uh, we're going to homeschool co-ops, homeschool gym classes. We're going to homeschool art classes. We're going to we're going to homeschool field trips, homeschool day trips to the park with friends. We're having instead of co-parenting, we're doing co-schooling with another friend. We're doing field trips to the museum. We're doing day trips to uh, park dates with friends. We're doing homeschool art classes, homeschool uh, gym classes. We're doing. Uh, co instead of co-parenting, we're doing co-schooling with another parent, with another family. We're doing lots of different things all the time and it's definitely not the same. We're, I mean, even to us, even to homeschoolers, quarantine was quite a shock to us. So I, you know, that's another reason why not to compare the quarantine school with the homeschool. Even to us, that was like a big shock to us and we had to go to Zoom classes for our co-op and everything like that so and let's face it i actually had to do zoom classes too some virtual classes online when we had um to finish our art classes or home our homeschool art classes and our homeschool co-op classes and we had to finish that online and at first it seemed really exciting and everybody was like oh look at this oh i can see you we you know all the kids were really excited but unfortunately after the quarantine lasted longer than three weeks uh, the kids were like, oh, another Zoom class? Like, do I have to do this? So with homeschooling, they're not used to all this virtual schooling either. Can they be given online school from home? Well, of course, but they can also get up and take breaks. They can, they, and they're doing other pieces of school. If, if online school doesn't work for you, you can, you know, pick other methods of schooling. And there's so many methods of schooling out there um, which I can get into in another video, but there's so many different methods. Like I think there's like five or six methods of school and you just kind of choose what method works for you when you could take a quiz online and find out your method and then figure and then adapt it according to what works best for you rather than all this virtual learning that seems redundant. And the other thing is, is that, you know, quarantine school is pretty lonely versus regular um, homeschooling that's not because like I said you're going 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 now I will say the first couple weeks um, when they like released that they would be going into quarantine for three weeks I was secretly relieved 
that we were going into quarantine because I was involved in so many things. Um, two co-ops, a homeschool art class, a uh, different play dates, and all of it was the, and they also church and youth group is another one that my kids are involved in and Awanas. So I was secretly relieved like, oh, I get a, I get a break. So three weeks was like sort of a vacation to me. But then when the three weeks became three months, it sort of became sort of like a prison sentence rather than a vacation. Um, I know that's kind of a little extreme, maybe not quite to that point. <laughs> It did feel less like a vacation though. So I'm a person that just craves socializing and being around people and it's part of my personality. I do like moments where I am by myself and get to have quietness, but I also like to socialize. And without that, I was feeling a little bit like that, like not a vacation anymore. If it would have just lasted the three weeks, I would have been okay. So the other thing is that you can't socialize. Well, you can socialize. You can socialize on the phone, on a Zoom class. You can socialize because let's face it, you're stuck at home. And with homeschooling, you're not stuck at home. Hence the reasons I just listed that you homeschoolers go a lot of places. So with socializing, I, you know, you're just doing it like hence the phone or Zoom classes or your computer, but it's not the same as one-on-one personal interaction and being with the person in real time. That's different than homeschooling. And homeschooling, as I said, when we're going lots of places, we're doing lots of things, we're seeing lots of people and in person. So with the quarantine homeschool, you're just, you're stuck at home and you're just doing things not normal. Nothing is normal about what happened. And let's face it, the other thing that's different is virtual school. You're doing virtual school where everything is where everything is online lessons video calls and picking up packages i mean picking up packets from the teacher that's a little different than when you're homeschooled you're picking your curriculum you're deciding what you're going to do like for instance you might decide to cook to learn fractions or you might go to science or you might go outside and look for bugs and observe them for science you might for history go to your Capitol building or your museum to look at different things. It's, everything is like different than just sitting there in a Zoom class at a certain time frame. And let's face it, there is certain login times that you have to go into your classrooms for regular school. With homeschool, it's whatever we choose, the time frame. So if you work, you can like say Monday and Tuesday, you can homeschool during like through the weekend. If you're home, if you're doing an over, overnight shift like my sister-in-law, you can homeschool and start at lunchtime. So that way you get a couple hours to snooze when you get back and you're tired. So you can adapt it to whatever you want where with this virtual quarantine school, it is not like that. When when you're used to regular school, you're used to the, you're used to the dry erase boards, the desks and you're like trying to do school like school at home and it seems like it's not working right. Where with homeschoolers, they're used to doing school outside. They're used to doing school on the couch or the bed. It's, it's normal for them. They're not used, that they, they've gotten unschooled, so to speak, so they're not, they, so they now are used to not having that classroom feel. The other thing that's different about quarantine school versus homeschool is let's face it, you are out of a routine. You are not in a routine at all. You don't know up from down, right from left. Whereas with homeschool, we are in a routine as well, just like you guys. The different, the, that's a similarity where we're both sort of in a routine of where, when we know what works for homeschooling, doing it, may, and used to a certain schedule. Hey, now's when we go to our co-op. So both are out of sync. Both are not, you know, kind of not going well. Um, we even were out of our routine and we really went out of our routine and started sleeping in more than we usually did when we didn't have like things to get places to go and things to do. So we were also out of our routine. So that is a big difference, you know, when you're homeschooling versus doing quarantine school. And let's face it, quarantine school has a negative feel behind it. It has a heaviness. You're talking about coronavirus and a sickness and uh, you're talking about mask wearing and you're talking about all these different things that sort of have a heaviness and a sad feel to it 
Whereas with homeschooling, when people choose to homeschool, it's a positive thing. We, it's chosen because they want to do it, they feel led to do it, and it is, it is a positive experience. Unlike this, where there's like a heavy feel to it, if that makes sense. But let's end this on a positive note. Here are some positives for quarantining. Hey, you got more family time. No activities equals family time. And no activities equals more meals around the table together as a family. And let's face it, isn't that needed sometimes? And isn't that a blessing? And another, and another positive note is that they are learning practical skills. Say, if you're not busy kicking a ball around your, and you're at, on quarantine, you're home, you're, co you're gonna be cooking, you're, your kids are gonna be learning practical skills like cooking chores, doing their own laundry, and stuff that's needed for adulting someday. Everybody needs to learn to adult at some point. And isn't that a positive thing as well? Also, your kids are gonna be learning more tech skills. And that comes in handy in today's world with all the technology and everything they must know anyway. By learning how to answer emails, by learning scanning, by learning uploading, by writing back and forth to somebody on their computer. And that's a great thing, learning those tech skills. They're learning more care for their family. When you're stuck at home with your family, hopefully you're learning to care for them more and learning to like them more rather than hate them more. Is in the other thing they're learning is independence. They're learning to satisfy boredom with busyness, learning, adapting skills and talents that they have, like such as gardening, gardening or drawing or picking up that guitar and learning how to play. So they're learning all kinds of skills during this time, hopefully during quarantine. And the other thing is they're learning contentment. Contentment is also a great thing to learn for us all. We all need to learn contentment. There's a lot of things in life that you end up like, oh, we could do this, or oh, this person's doing this. And through this experience, hopefully it's taught us a lot of contentment. So that's the positive thing is that quarantine has done. However, it's totally different and not the same. And in the next couple of videos, I'm going to be explaining how this, this uh, schooling that's coming up with the mask wearing and everything is completely also different than homeschooling. And all the reasons for our family with five kids, what we love about homeschooling, what's worked for us over these eight years, and why we love it and why it works for us. So stay tuned for those videos to come. And like I said, subscribe. And I want to hear from you guys. I love hearing questions from you guys. So please leave some questions in the comments below. Like, like if you homeschool, can you tell me other things that I didn't list? How homeschooling is different than quarantining. And also, if you did do quarantine school, how you thought about it, what, what your, what's your thoughts about it? And um, what's your questions on homeschooling? Leave it in the comments below. I hope to hear from you guys. And that's it, just give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys' thumbs up if you like this video. That's it guys, see you later. Till the next video that's coming in a couple days. Stay tuned for that. Thanks guys, bye.